Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I am really excited to be filming today's video. As you saw by the title, I'm going to be sharing a entry room makeover on a budget. So if you are new here, we are currently renting and so our options are very limited and I don't wanna be investing a ton of money into our rental house, but I still wanna make it home. So um, today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I'm doing that in our front entryway. And again, just kind of sharing the process with you and what we're doing. So I wanted to give you a quick before shot and just kind of share with you what we are dealing with. So the goal is to really brighten up the area, get rid of the visual clutter. If you are new here, I do have a messy to minimal series that I highly recommend going back onto my channel and watching. I am going to be starting off here with painting the bench once I get all the furniture and stuff moved back here. And I am using this chalk paint in linen white. I will explain why I chose to go with chalk paint uh, really shortly here. And then for cleaning the bench, this is what I'm using is this Eco TSP. Let's get started with the prep work. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Drove back and climbed over your fence. Had to show, show you that I was a man. So I was going to paint the bench there in the entryway and then my husband thought that wasn't the best idea so I moved it on here into my office and as I mentioned I am cleaning this really good just using a like old cloth and then that TSP. I highly recommend this stuff. I use it prior to all of my DIY projects. And so there's no reason why I wouldn't have done it on my front entryway makeover. And you want to make sure that you really get into like the crevices and like every single area that you are going to be painting. Now for this project, I am again, painting the bench white, but there is like the inside of it that I'm not going to be painting. So I did not end up um, cleaning that. And so again, we're just giving this a really good clean before we paint it. They were wrong. It was way more than a dream. So the reason I wanted to use this chalk paint is because number one, it's amazing. I love that it is just such a seamless application and the drying time is quick. You do not have to prep it peek my daughter here, <laughs> but you do not have to prep the surface that you are doing and you can paint a lot of different things with it. So, um, no sanding required, none of that. And this bench was in pretty good condition, which is why I wanted to paint it. I did consider stripping and sanding it and just bringing it back to like a natural wood finish. And then I decided to, again, just paint it white as I really wanted to brighten the area in this entryway makeover. I have done quite a few DIY projects here on my channel, including our entertainment stand um, and the two little side tables in my living room. So if you wanna see that video, I will try and find it and link it down below. It was done probably about a year ago, but I did use this chalk paint. And so again, I've worked with this stuff before. It is super easy and versatile. And so I highly recommend it. I can go ahead and link it down below if you are interested in it. Now that the bench is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this clutter off of here. I have wanted to get rid of this thing for quite some time and today is the day. Make sure that you stay tuned for the reveal here at the end of the video. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Okay, day two, we are done at the bench. It is fully painted, cured. I got the top coat on. I'll spare you the drying time and physically painting a top coat, which is clear. So let's go ahead and get this space kind of cleaned and put back together. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles, screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want 
Okay, stay with me here. I want a stool for the plant to elevate it a little bit. And I'm unsure of what color to sew. I'm gonna sew a new uh, cushion top. And I'm unsure of the color. So we're gonna kind of see. I don't know if I want black or gray. Help me to decide. So I like to live a little bit on the edge and I was just kind of guesstimating here and then what I did is I measured the mirror and where it was supposed to be hung and then I measured that onto the wall, I put two little dots and it worked out. just gonna add on some little final touches here I ended up adding another black pillow behind this but I'm really happy with how this front entry we make over turned out especially on a budget I only bought a new mirror and so I was really happy about that if you like DIY projects don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys in my next video bye